Who had Buzz Lightyear, of all things, messing with people's minds on the 2021 bingo card? Yet, that's exactly what's happened with the release of Pixar's new Lightyear trailer this week. The 2022 theatrical release features Chris Evans as the voice of Lightyear, the real pilot that inspired the plastic white, neon green, and purple toy that's been voiced in every Toy Story movie by comedian Tim Allen since 1995. Confusing? Is this the retcon of all retcons? Perhaps, but only because most folks had no idea Lightyear was coming. Yet in reality, this Pixar film is the culmination of a Toy Story metaverse that the studio has been cooking up for years. Pete Docter, Pixar's chief creative officer and longtime director for the studio, explained late last year that Lightyear was going to be unlike anything we've done before. So, how might Lightyear fit into the overall canon of the Toy Story franchise? Funny you should ask. To infinity and... The Lightyear trailer makes real what Doctor first teased. It was during Disney's Investor Day presentation in December 2020 that he said this. At first glance, you might think, this is a Toy Story film. Well, not so fast. See, back when we created the very first Toy Story, we designed Buzz Lightyear with the idea that he was a toy based on some really cool character from an epic blockbuster film. Well, all these years later, we decided it's time to make that film. Lightyear is described by the studio as an origin story for Buzz Lightyear, charting his rise from test pilot to space ranger. Because the Toy Story Buzz has always looked so cartoony, it's not a reach to figure that most fans of the Pixar movies have just assumed he was based on some in-world animated series. But Lightyear the movie looks like a Hollywood blockbuster with a realistic star command populated with NASA-level competent space rangers. And it's kind of blowing the internet's mind. Because if this Lightyear buzz inspired silly Toy Story buzz, what are we missing in that very wide middle ground? Like, what's the Lightyear equivalent of Toy Buzz Lightyear's archenemy evil Emperor Zerg going to look like? You remember that guy with the glowing maw and demon horns? And is the Lightyear cinematic universe a favorite of Andy Davis and now little Bonnie Anderson? Also, here's a big question. In Andy's reality, is the Lightyear movie animated or live action? Can an animated universe even have a live action movie? Obviously, the details about how, when, and where Lightyear fits into the canon of the humans and toys who exist in the four Toy Story films, along with the myriad of shorts and holiday specials in this world, will be answered as we get closer to the 2022 release. Until then, now's the time for a rewatch of the Toy Story movies to see what breadcrumbs Doctor and the other Toy Story directors may have left for us in plain sight. The slingshot maneuver is all we've got. Full speed ahead. Curiously, a possible source for answers is the 2000 direct-to-video movie Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Adventure Begins, and the TV spin-off that followed, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. The former is considered the canon TV series within the Toy Story universe that inspired the Buzz Lightyear toy line, so it could be the de facto primer for all of this. And the latter is the continuation of those adventures that aired on ABC under Disney's one Saturday morning suite of original cartoon series. If Buzz Lightyear of Star Command stories and characters are even minimally referenced and tweaked for the Lightyear narrative, there still could be plenty to learn from the animated series. Case in point, these animated adventures introduce Buzz Lightyear's doomed pilot partner, Warp Dark Matter, who deeply influenced Buzz's independent ways. There's also a whole ensemble of characters who could play a part in Lightyear, including Commander Nebula, an aspiring space ranger named Booster, and even a crack unit of space rangers that Buzz ultimately embraces as his posse called Team Lightyear. There's also the possibility that Buzz Lightyear of Star Command and Lightyear share a Transformers-esque relationship, where Buzz Lightyear of Star Command is the functional equivalent of the 80s Transformers cartoon and Lightyear is more akin to the Michael Bay-helmed movie franchise. They're just differently budgeted explorations of IP within the Toy Story universe. But there's an even more interesting theory. Maybe the Buzz Lightyear from the movies and animated series is just the kitty version of the Lightyear toys. Using the Batman movies as an example, each of those franchises have had their adult-centric collectible lines and capture the likenesses from the films. But they've also each had their cartoony, kid-centric toys tailored for the younger fans who want to play too. So, is the Toy Story Buzz we've come to know and love just the tot-centric interpretation? Is there some hot, lantern-jawed Lightyear collectible line existing outside the frame of the Toy Story universe that we've all been denied until now? 
Of course, before we get ahead of ourselves, a huge caveat to this whole line of thinking is that direct-to-video projects rarely influence the creative path of filmmakers when it comes to theatrical releases. Star Wars Legends, formerly known as the Expanded Universe, encompassed every licensed Star Wars project outside of the six original films at the time. It sadly taught fans the very hard lesson that what's on the big screen is all that really counts when Lucasfilm wiped out all of the EU storytelling from canon in preparation for the sequel trilogy. So, don't be surprised if everything Buzz Lightyear of Star Command has nothing to do with anything in Lightyear. Buzz, what are you doing? I'm thinking. Honey, will you please shut that toy off? Yeah, I got it. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Bonnie, how do you turn this off? Open the pod bay door. I don't know. It's just you and me now, cadet. A distress signal is coming Toss it in the drawer. Until we know for sure, all we can do is speculate about the backwards engineering that's going to get us from Chris Evans' Lightyear to Tim Allen's Buzz Lightyear. And for any other Pixar nonsense, be sure to subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch. To infinity and beyond.